Before I get started, guys, Forrest Decker, I got something for you. And there it is. Yes, I moved it. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. How you doing guys? You know, some 30 years ago I moved into this pathetic little town. Totally unknowing. I mean this town was so small at the time it wasn't even on a map. As a matter of fact, you could usually tell the locals because they were the ones that had no teeth. On the rare occasion you meet a high class girl that had did have her teeth and she'd be happy to point that out. Got some own teeth. The mayor of the town at the time was a homeless guy who lived under the bridge. He'd be eating his dinner out of a trash can. We had one traffic light that never worked. The town had one prostitute in it, and she filed for unemployment and actually got it. Anyways, I kind of find out there were a lot of busybodies in this town, so my circle of associations was uh, pretty small at best. And I learned to kind of keep to myself over the years. If you weren't a heavy-duty drinker in this town, you were really nobody. And that's all people here would do is drink and cry the blues. Anyways, one thing I found out, people here don't like to see other people happy or having it good better than they do. This past spring started seeing somebody. I was never one to announce to the world my business. I figured, you know, people are going to find things out on their own anyways. She was not a local, so she was totally unfamiliar with what I had been dealing with in this town. She didn't have a clue what people were like here. She does now, but she didn't at the time. We, this past spring, we started actually talking about it. And we were talking about how uh, as soon as people find out that we were going together, they were probably going to shoot it down. They wouldn't have anything good to say about it. Which is exactly what happened within hours of us talking about that. People on her end had nothing good to say about me. They literally had her convinced that I was married. And they had, I mean, telling her some god-awful stories about me. Never had met these people. Uh, it took me some doing to convince her that I wasn't married. Sometimes I wonder if she still thinks that I am. This wasn't limited to just her end. This was also on my end. I was probably, now women, women like to announce everything that they're going through, so me, I'm a little different. I keep things to myself. Very few people actually knew what was going on, and this is only out of sight. Somebody on my end eventually found out, and same scenario, had nothing good to say about this girl. Also had never met this girl before. And this person would make comments like, well, it's none of my business, but... Okay. When somebody says it's none of their business, they're acknowledging it's not their business, but they've just made it their business. Okay. I put up with it. I kept my mouth shut. But this person just constantly badmouthed this girl. Not that it was having any effect. I kind of in one ear and out the other. It got pretty bad when this person actually called me in the middle of the night when she knew that I was with this person. Well, what was the purpose of that? To try and destroy it. Now, in all honesty, why do people do this? As opposed to just being happy for the, the other person, even for that moment, whether it lasted, whether it made it, or was short-lived or not, why can't people just say, oh, good for you, and be happy for you? For that moment because it's easier for them in their own misery to drag somebody down in their misery see they're miserable people they basically want what you have but for some reason they don't seem to think they can get it whether they're just plain miserable people whether they're backstabbers whether everybody knows they're backstabbers or they just plain know that they're miserable to be around 
I found that quite to be the case that most people don't want to see you with a smile on their face. So the first thing they will do is attack it and try to destroy it. I've noticed this primarily as well on YouTube as well. You know, uh, let's face it. We've all had people attack us, contradict us, basically because they're miserable little people. I mean, we all know Alan. Let's face it, a guy that laughs at his own jokes. Every time he makes a stupid comment here, he puts a smiley face and an LOL at the end. But Alan, we all know, is very miserable. This is why he attacks. He wants other people to be disgruntled. He wants other people to be discouraged. And he wants other people to be as miserable as he is. See, Alan Limit, or however he pronounces it, is a 48-year-old virgin. He wouldn't know how to get a woman if he had a hundred dollars in a six-pack, and that includes Free Voice. Who, for that matter, is also somebody who is a sympathy getter. Now, we've all dealt with sympathy getters. They want you to feel sorry for them without even knowing them. Batman Matrix, he's never around long enough to even know what the hell he's up to, but he's a complete dirtbag. He will leave slight comments and then disappear. But I've noticed that uh, they've recently, I think you were all well aware, I must have struck a nerve with them within the last few weeks because they've all of a sudden been attacking me. Uh, Free Voice started the sympathy. Oh, well, she's attacking me. I just want you to know this. When Free Voice has never commented on my channel before. So how can I feel sympathy for this young lady without even knowing her? Yet I have seen her on other channels doing just as much attacking as she claims other people have been getting. As far as Alan, we all know Alan's a complete douchebag and Batman Matrix. Like I said, I don't think he's going to comment here again. Before anybody gets discouraged at these people, think about where it's coming from. They are not putting the food on your table. They are not offering anything constructive to your videos. They've certainly offered nothing constructive to mine. As a matter of fact, all they've added to mine was a bunch of bullshit. And like I said in the past, I'm not going to sit by and watch my regular viewers be attacked by a group of dirtbags. And there have been quite a few names here and there. And I'm beginning to wonder, the same as you, are they the same person with different aliases? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But think about this. They have nothing to say. And they're only trying to get you discouraged or you stop making videos so you stop commenting on videos. Don't let it happen. They try and start wars with people. They say this one said this when in the all right they didn't. I'll think twice, guys, before anybody discourages you from coming out here. But like I said, it's going to happen. Uh, the trolls, for the most part, have been kind of limited here. Uh, I had the regulars like Matt Manish, Warrior Princess Triple Ten, and... I can't remember the other girl's name. She, uh, Daily Observer, who used to be something else, I can't remember, who I haven't heard from in many months. So apparently they must have given up on me because I really don't care. Continue what you're doing. Voice your opinion. Continue exposing. Uh, talk about whatever you want to talk about. These people, the trolls, and anybody who shoots anything negative at you, they are to be ignored. They're not to be heard. Leave their comments so that everybody can see what idiots they are. Don't delete them. I mean, for the most part, I leave most of their comments, unless they're vulgar, and then I will get rid of them. But let the world see them for what they are. If they are JWs or JW sympathizers, let the world see them for what they really are. Because what's left in the Kingdom Halls are rather the Pimos who don't know how to get out or the complete indoctrinated JW that are so unchristlike. And look at Vicky, woman of the Nang, and War on Watchtower. Just watch how they're exposing themselves. Stacy Lopez, same thing. Uh, Down with the Tower has done a phenomenal job, and even Stuart. Now think about it, guys, before you get discouraged and pull the plug. Don't let these dirtbags win. Keep that smile on your face. And don't let these scumbags take that smile away. Joe Watchtower did enough of a job on that. Anyways, guys, 
I'll talk to you soon. I'd love to hear your comments. And I want to thank my subscribers for sticking around. And the new ones that just jumped on board. And if you come across this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you soon. You guys have a good day.